Hey everybody, I am here in Los Angeles tonight and uh, just want to share a special story. I uh, met a, my friend Oksana a couple years ago here in Los Angeles and when the situation in the Ukraine unfolded this past week, I just really felt led just to reach out to her and like say, hey, how's your family doing and everything? And um, she shared the story with me and so I just wanted to let her share it from her own point of view and from her own heart. So you can hear it directly from her. Yes, hello. My name is Oksana. And I am a student here. I'm studying English in school uh, in Los Angeles. So I know my English may be not perfect. <laughs> so I know Derek also for a few years. And um, I very appreciate his help. Because his help for my family was very big. Uh, he gave like 2,500 and it's big money for my family. They wanted to open visa. Uh, but um, it was in that time in the Ukraine, they already closed uh, embassy. It didn't work. And in Poland was line that was available only f from April. So they wanted to fly to London. So that's why Derek covered all. But in two days, they even didn't make appointment in two days, it's the war star and uh, I have a mom, two sister, brother and my sister has two kids, seven and four years old. So my, my sister with husband and two kids live in Odessa and my brother also and my mom with younger sister, she is 14 years old, uh, they live in village. So when uh, Odessa began to be so messed up and was very dangerous to stay because the army came there and destroyed uh, many buildings and uh, they, they moved to village and stay in mom house now. Uh, in village it's also like, dangerous because it's uh, on border uh, Moldova and Romania. So they, st they start, they already has uh, like at the to nine I think and one day before. Uh, um, air alarm. Uh, it still didn't happen. Nothing village, uh, but uh, some some next village also uh, destroy, and they trying to, to to leave the country. I, I don't know. Uh, I'm staying every every night till five morning on cell phone with them. Uh, we trying to figure out how how to live uh, because they don't allow men to leave the country. And my brother is a student, 21 years old. He even was never in army. He doesn't know how to shoot, what to do. I don't know why they keep him and don't allow to leave country. He cannot help army or he cannot fight. I mean, he cannot shoot. He, he is a student. Uh, and my sister, her, her husband, uh, also, like, I, I don't want she, she lives, like, not me. She doesn't want to live without him. They, they try to, to leave the country all together uh, because they have two kids. What she gonna do like uh, alone in another country? Mm, and then they cannot help anything. I mean, they have special special army in Ukraine. Uh, so we try. Uh, they spent like already like a few nights driving around to find where, where they can they cross the board. Um, not the board. Cross the board. Board. The border. The border. Yeah. But it's every three three hundred meters they have block post, and they they not allow. Even I said maybe you try illegal because uh, we we have river uh, uh, from my village to Romania is twelve uh, kilometers and uh, they have river. I I told maybe swim the river uh, to guys, uh, but they said they scared to be shoot because uh, from another side. They not allow people to cross like, like that, like this way. It's very dangerous now because they, they can shoot. They don't. They don't. Give, they don't care at all. I mean, yeah, about people because it's uh, on official uh, board board to cross the board. It's it's line like people staying for two two days and some of them they send ba back if it's like some man in car or something. So I will really appreciate if uh, somehow can help in any way. Uh, I, I don't know what what God will in you. Mm, maybe in uh, my family, maybe another family who stuck the same with kids. 
and stay in danger and if you can to help move somehow or uh, some another way whatever you feel like and I know the God will, will bless you everything who, who do the, and help uh, these people in Ukraine right now the God, I hope the God will bless and give in 100 time more because it's really very very dangerous and uh, we also like even here so, so in stress and not sleeping staying on the phone all night and my brother and with my uh, brother-in-law they sleep uh, they switch one sleep and one staying awake and so it's a very very dangerous time and i hope it will finish i don't know when but i hope it will finish as fast as, as possible thank you thank you so much i really appreciate you sharing your story and being so open to share with everyone what's happening there and just to encourage them to help in any way that they can. Yes, thank you for helping for me. You're welcome.